Complete three reads of the listening text as follows. First read. Read the text clearly, fluently, and with expression, embedding meaning as you read. Code switch if necessary to explain parts of the text to learners. Second read. Read text once again, this time modeling your thoughts about the text as per the lesson plan. Third read. Read the text a third time, this time asking questions after each paragraph as per the lesson plan. Attention, please. Everybody, please. Good. Right. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, everybody. Right. Good. We are going to read a beautiful story today. Are you ready to listen to a beautiful story? Yes. Right. The name of the story is A Private Conversation. Do you know what a private conversation is? When two people talk, they are having a conversation. So when the conversation is private, it means only those two people need to know about the information that is in their conversation. Right. I'm going to read and you are going to listen. As you are listening to the story, I want you to also think about the story about what is happening in the story. I want you to be thinking, but then at the same time, I want you to be listening. Okay? Very good. I was lying on my bed, reading a book. My bedroom door was slightly open. When the door is slightly open, it means it's not open all the way. It means it's just uh, open just a little bit, so slightly open. And I could hear my mother speaking on the phone. She was whispering, and it sounded like something was wrong. I walked closer to my bedroom door so that I could hear her private conversation. I'm very worried about Tandy, she said. That's what my mother said. I'm very worried about Tandy. My name is Tandy. I wondered why my mother was worried about me. I took a deep breath and continued to listen to her conversation. I think she's very ill. Her legs are very skinny and she has not been eating, said my mother. I looked at my legs. They were very skinny. I got a big fright and I became very worried. I quickly pushed open my bedroom door and ran fast towards my mother. Mom, am I ill? You see, Tandy is worried that maybe she's ill. That's why she ran to the mother to ask, Mom, am I ill? My mother put down the phone and looked at me with confusion. What? No, Tandy, I don't think you're ill, she said. But, Mom, I heard you saying that I'm ill. I heard you on the phone. My mother burst out laughing. Ha <laughs> ha, no, Tandy, I wasn't speaking about you. I was speaking about our neighbor's dog. Her name is also Tandy. I also laughed. Oh, what a misunderstanding. Thank goodness I'm not ill, I said. You see, there was a misunderstanding. So Tandy did not understand that conversation. She thought her mother was talking about her. But the mother was talking about the, na the neighbor's dog. Very good. My mother stopped laughing and looked at me seriously. Yes, it was a misunderstanding. But Tandy, you shouldn't be listening to private conversations. I was speaking quietly. I didn't want to wake you. That's why the mother was speaking quietly, so that Tandy couldn't hear and so that she, uh, and she also didn't want to wake her up. I nodded my head. Sorry, ma'am. It won't happen again, I replied. 
My mother smiled. Good. Because misunderstandings can lead to problems. So if you don't understand things properly, it may lead to problems because of the misunderstanding. Bushe? Oh, skinny legs. You know when your legs are skinny, it means they are very, very thin. And in this story, Tandy has thin legs. And you must also remember that the other Tandy, which is a dog, also has very thin legs. Now you understand what skinny means. We are going to read the story again for the third time. But this time, when I read the story, I'm also going to pause and ask you questions. I was lying on my bed, reading a book. My bedroom door was slightly open and I could hear my mother speaking on the phone. She was whispering and it sounded like something was wrong. I am very worried about Tandy, she said. Right, I'm going to ask you the first question. The question says, what was the narrator doing when she heard her mother speaking on the phone? The narrator is somebody that tells us the story. So the person that tells us the story is the narrator. So what was this person doing when they heard mother speaking on the phone? Yes, Rati? She was lying on her bed reading a book. Thank you, Rati. That was a beautiful answer. The next question is, who is the narrator's mother worried about? Yes, Luanze. She, she is worried about Tandy. Very good, Luanze. And it was a beautiful answer. Now I'm going to ask the third question. Can you make a connection? Can you make a connection? Have you ever felt curious about someone else's conversation? Listen, what, what conversation? Oh, okay. It was a misunderstanding. It wasn't your grandfather. That's very good. You see, you can now make a connection. My name is Tandy. I wondered why my mother was worried about me. I took a deep breath and continued to listen to her conversation. Who does Tandy think her mother is talking about? Katu, would you like to try? She was thinking, she was talking about you. Okay, very good. Now, the next question is, why was Tandy worried? Yes, Lilita? She was thinking that she's very ill. Yes, very good, Lilita. She was worried that she is, uh, she's ill.